Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It's been some time since uh, the Baltic states were uh, in the news. It seems like the Americans used the defibrillator, boom boom, and uh, or some uh, injections uh, for uh, rejuvenation. So they got uh, now some uh, testosterone or uh, some hormones injected. They're back in business. I have uh, a few news about uh, in this kind in this uh, in I got a few news and uh, right now is just Latvian's uh, Latvia's uh, turn and later will be uh, some other two countries which is going to be Latvia and uh, Estonia but now it's just Latvia it's the prima donna right now so she's got the first voice so the new voice of Ukraine uh, states on August 11 that Latvian parliament declares Russia a state sponsor of terrorism. Whew. Oh, Latvia is, uh, has a population of about uh, what? Is that once it got like uh, 1.8 million or something like this? Uh, I think that's something like uh, uh, like a city, all right, a big city, uh, wherever you are. I don't know if you're in India, that's a suburb or not a suburb, but it, neighborhood <laughs> so let's go and see what these guys are saying a total of 67 MPs out of the 100 seat legislator voted in favor of the resolution on Russia's targeted military attacks on civilians and public spaces in Ukraine so they succeeded the Ukrainians you know all those articles coming that the Russians are hitting only civilians only residential areas kindergartens uh, sports facilities, uh, hospitals, without saying that, hey, wait a second, we have uh, that report from Amnesty International saying that actually uh, Ukrainians could be uh, held accountable, accountable as well because they have their uh, military in that area positioned. Therefore, the Russians, when they hit the military, might hit these guys too. So you, uh, you have some responsibility uh, to your residents. But they seem civilians. It seems like it doesn't matter. Including, it's uh, again the report from Amnesty International stated that uh, the Ukrainians stored uh, ammunition in schools and hospitals and other locations. I don't know if hospital, but I think it was schools, schools and uh, kindergartens and whatever things like this. Uh, Twenty-two out of twenty-one out of twenty-nine locations. This guy searched. It was proven like that, and the Ukrainians got a little upset. But it's not about that here. It's just that this is the point this guy make. These guys make. Oh, have you seen those? They are targeting civilians. All right. Let's do it and do this. The document states that the violent, the violence that Russia invasion forces inflict on civilians in order to achieve political goals is terrorism, and Russia itself is a state sp sponsoring terrorism. Okay. Good. Uh, if you remember, Latvia did the same thing when the uh, United States uh, was bombing uh, Yugoslavia in 1999. The same thing. They declared, they voted that the United States is a state, uh, and not only the United States, because there were like about 13, 14 countries. Germany was there too, Great Britain always, and some other countries over there, Netherlands, the Netherlands, Italy, all these big, big shots. Mm. Yeah, so, oh, I'm just kidding. They wouldn't dare. They wouldn't dare to do that, obviously. They did the same thing. Didn't they do the, that? Try to change the, no? They targeted civilians, destroyed the Chinese embassy over there in Belgrade. They destroyed, they killed civilians, they destroyed, they destroyed bridges, they destroyed schools. They even hit at uh, the presidential palace, Milosevic, no? Achieve political goals, yes. We're gonna bomb you until you do what we tell you to do, because that's what's right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the resolution says that Latvia considers Russia's actions in Ukraine as a, as a targeted genocide against the Ukrainian people. It's a long, long stretch, my boy, but this is what they say. It also notes the consequences of the Russian invasion of Ukraine since 2014, including millions of refugees. It's true, rocket attack on civilians, blah, 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 blah. Okay, how about uh, did you take into consideration the Ukrainian forces attacking? the eastern uh, Ukraine, the Russian population over there is a genocide, or that, that was not? It was just not, nothing happened, nothing to see. Move on. And these are Latvian MP says the Kremlin was pur purposely persecuting the Ukrainian civilian population using torture and violence to occupy Ukraine as well as, as demoralizing and paralyzing the ability 
of the armed forces and people of Ukraine to act. The document calls on partner countries partner to strengthen, san strengthen sanctions against Russia, as well as to increase military, financial, humanitarian and diplomatic support for Ukraine. In addition, the Latvian Seima expects EU member states to immediate, immediately suspend tourist visas and limit the issuing of entry visas to citizens of Russia and Belarus. Well, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba thanked the Latvian, Latvian Seima for recognizing the Russia Federation as a sponsor of terrorism, calling this decision a timely step. You think? So, it says uh, in the United States, listing as a country as a state sponsor of terrorism allows additional categories of sanctions to be implemented on it, including restrictions on US foreign aid bans on exports and sale of defense products, export controls and dual use goods, as well as financial and other restrictions. The current US list of countries sponsoring terrorism include North Korea, Syria, Cuba and Iran. So this is sometimes you don't want to be too, you know, uh, overt in uh, saying something or making a decision. So you try to say, see, that's one another it's the world the world community sanctioned you so i have to do it because you see how many so then you push the little guys the little the little the really bottom these are these are the bottom of the bottom feeders these are the guys who are hitting in the in the sand in the bottom it's not the ones that blah, 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 like a carp no no these are underneath the sand you uh, know the whatever it's underneath the you know the bottom of the lake so uh this is uh I think, I mean, is what, what country is this? A small country over there doing its thing that is required to do by its master over there, Zimbabwe, across the Atlantic, and they're doing their bidding. And there's gonna be this, and there's gonna be uh, Estonia, then there's gonna be Lat uh, Lithuania, then it's gonna be obviously Poland, and then another are bottom feeders, and then you're gonna, it's gonna be United States of America. Yeah, the States of America will say, see, the world community, this is just like a switch ping like click do it now go uh, this is just to make the guys in the u.s um, uh, congress to to uh, uh to make a point like oh see so when they talk about it oh look how many countries recognize it already so we can't be the stupidest here right we have to lead not from behind <laughs> but from the front so yeah it, this is uh Whatever. You expect to be investigations, you expect, you know, evidence to be corroborated with this and that, but who needs evidence? Who needs, you know, to make the connection? Like, someone killed someone over there, who's the bad guy in the neighborhood? Uh, Emil. Emil did it. Or Emil beat someone else over here and something happens over there. Oh no, Emil did it. Or Emil did that. Oh, Emil did that. Um, civilians die? They do. If you say that only the Russians are, are targeting this and targeting that without taking into consideration other uh, actors in this, then how, how um, uh, just that is? No, oh, yeah, this sponsor terrorism. Let's put it the other way. And the Russians will be so. And if you just uh, continue talking like you're talking, you know, that, that thing, the, the, the dogs are barking and the caravan keeps uh, walking so um, I don't know man it's just this guy is just the little steps as I said little step this is the first step little step and then it's gonna be a bigger country bigger country and then it's gonna be the final thing but you have about 20 countries recognizing it the same old same and Russia will say okay I have my community on this side you have your community over there half of the world is with me half the world is with you Thank you very much. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.